Hey guys, today we're gonna to be working on adding up to 20. Till this point, we've only had sums that were less than 20. Ooh, did you hear my word? What is a sum? It's the answer to an addition fact. Addition means we are putting things together. Remember that? Putting things together. That's what we do when we add. What do we do when we take things away? or we subtract, we take things away. Say that word, subtract, take things away. Good. So we're gonna be working on our strategies pages, our manipulative sheets. If you don't have something that looks like, like this, you joined us later, or this has been lost, this is pretty easy to create. You can draw in your 10 frames, you can draw in a number path, you can't see it great from there. Okay, it's just numbers and squares. And you can also create your very own number line. We've already done that, right? So I'm gonna do a quick reminder of how we add using all of these things. Then we will jump into um, today's lesson. Are you ready? Let's go. So this is our, we're gonna work this one on all of these um, strategies. Are you ready? So on our Wreck and Wreck, we have two ways to do it. We can move two on the top and five on the bottom and count it that way, five, six, seven. Or we can move them all on one bar and that makes it a little bit easier for my brain so this is how I tend to do it. Two and five and I know that's seven because I see the five and the two. But that's not something you have to do. Now we're gonna work on doing it in our double 10 frame. Now I have these great little erasers if you don't have your erasers anymore, that's okay. It's all right. Um, you can use cereal, you can use M&Ms, whatever you've got handy, even Legos will work. Ready? So my first number is two. So I put two down on the wreck and wreck. My second number is five. So now I'm gonna count out five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna put those down. One, two, three, four, five. Now my brain can really easily see these three extra and I know that that's seven. Did those match? Seven, seven, yeah. Now on the number path, this is probably one of my favorite ways to add because you can see exactly what's happening. If you're having a little bit of trouble seeing this, um, you can zoom in your video or you can do it with me. So I'm putting my bear's ears at two because that's my first number. On the number path, we start at the first add in. Okay? So I'm at the first add in, then we count to the second add in and move. Just like we would playing a game like Candyland. One, two, three, four, five. What number did I end at? Can you see it? It's tiny. Seven. 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 Have they all matched so far? Absolutely. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you on the number line. And it's pretty close to the number path. We start at the number two, and then we move five spaces. One, two, three, four, five. What did I land on? Seven. So all of my strategies worked the same. They all got the same answer. So really the best thing about a strategy is that what? It gives you the choice. Um, while we're working today, you get to decide which one of these you're gonna use. If you wanna use all of them, absolutely go ahead. But when we start getting into these bigger numbers, it's very helpful if, if you can really see it on the wreck and wreck and you think that's fast, use that. If you can really see it on the double 10 frame and you think that's fast, use it. If you like the number path best, use that. It, this is up to you, okay? So I think I'm going to, just for ease of time and for the visual sake, I'm probably going to use the Wreck and Wreck because that's the one I really enjoy, but I'll also try to use the others as well, okay? So our first problem that we're going to work, remember we're working on addition today, just addition today, and addition is putting things together. Remember addition has two parts. It has two add-ins that go into each other. So we're going to work on this one, seven plus hmm, four equals. 
What was this one called? Add end. What was this one called? Add end. Here's our plus sign and our equal sign. So today we're going to be looking for the sum. The answer is called the sum. Sum. All right. So let's find the sum on our wreck and wreck. Now you can watch me, you can pause the video and do it yourself and then come back and see if you got it right. Okay, so watch me on this one and then we'll, we'll pause it and you can see if you can do it too, all right? So my first number is seven. Now I want you to try to get in the habit of using the whole first bar and then coming down because up until now, we've had really small sums sums that could all fit on the same bar. But now our sums are gonna get much larger and both bars are gonna be needed. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So our first number is seven, so I'm gonna move that over, five and two. My next number is what? Four. Do I have four left on this bar? No. So I can move four down here and count it, but that's gonna take me a minute. What if I did this? There's. One, two, three, four. What's my answer? 11. You can see it really fast because 10 and 1 is a 11. 10 and 1. Does it work if I do it the other way? Let's see. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, it works this time. But what if I needed all 20 beads? Or my number was bigger than... Then my answer was bigger than 19. I would definitely need both sets, right? Okay, so now my sum was what? 11, my sum was 11. Good, let's try another one. I think I'll set this one up on the 10 frame. Okay, so let's do this. Let's do eight and six equals. So what's my first add in? Eight. So I'm going to set up eight on uh, eight first. Now, this is why I have told you from the beginning that you need to start in the top corner and work down. When you're using your 10 frame, it's really important. So let's count out eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Now I am adding six. That means I'm going to start in the very next box, right? The very next box. So my next add-in is six. So let's count out six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, can your brain tell me how many that is really quickly? I know the first frame is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14. How would I do this on the wreck and wreck? I'd start with eight, nine, 10. So that was, what was that? For my second add in was six. So there's two, three, four, five, six, 14, 14. Did it work? Absolutely. What about down here on the number path? Where am I going to start the first number, the first add in? So put your bear at eight or your whatever you're using. If you've got a spaceman or a star or whatever. Eight, now we're gonna count six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Same number? Ooh, it's red, you can't see it. 14, good. Now let's try it on our number path and see if that works. We're gonna start at eight and count over six. One, two, three, four, five, six. 14, did they all work? Absolutely. So, you're about to go and match number sentences to a ice cream cone. I'm going to do another video to show you how to do that, okay? All right, guys. As you work in Seesaw, you need to be using your manipulatives to make sure you get the right answer. Don't just guess. Move them around so I don't have to send it back to you, okay? All right, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.